Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, we are going to look at subtracting one digit numbers from two digit numbers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at what we're learning and see what that means. So we've got the word subtracting, which means take away, find the difference. So we know we're going to be doing a take away. Now one digit numbers are numbers like this that only have one numeral, one number in them. Okay, And we're going to be taking them away from two digit numbers. So numbers that have tens and ones, tens and ones. Okay, so they have two numerals in them. So, we're going to get started here with these ones and then we'll go on. Now, all of the subtractions that we are doing today, we're going to have a look at the end about counting backwards. If we get really confident, really good at counting forwards and backwards, okay, with any two digit number across tens or through 50 and up to 60 and things like that, okay, all those numbers. It will really help you with your addition, and if you can count backwards, with your subtraction. I'll show you how we can do that in a, uh, at the end of each question. But this here will help us to understand what we're doing with our subtractions. And it will also show us how to do it until we get confident with that counting. Okay, so here first we have the number 56 take away 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that in 10s and 1s. So I'm going to draw myself 5 10 sticks. 1, 2, 3... Four, five. So I've got five ten sticks there, okay. Or if you've got a pl um, place value chart, you'd have ten counters in your tens. And I've got six ones, so I'm going to draw my six ones. Now I know they're normally little cubes, but I'm just going to draw them as dots because that's nice and easy. I draw them in two sets of three because I know two threes are six, so it helps me me count. Okay, so I've got the number fifty six, five tens, and six ones, okay. Got that sum, and now I'm going to take away 4. Now, if I have a look at this, I can see I'm taking away 4 1s, not 10s. I'm taking away 4 1s, so I go to my 1s, and I'm going to take 4 out. Now, I could normally show them off because I'm a whiteboard, but I'm going to cross them out, because if you're doing it in your work, and you've drawn it in pencil, we can't do it. Then just rub it out, can we? Well, we can, but it takes a while. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4. I've taken away 4. I've subtracted 4. Now, I can count my tens and ones to find my answer. One, two, three, four, five. I have five tens. I'll put five in my tens column. And I have one, two, two in my ones column. So I've got two. Now, when we look at that sum, we can do it like that. But there are quicker ways to do it. What we could do is we can say, oh, I'm looking at this. I'm taking away from my ones. So I'm taking away four. Have I got more than four ones? Yes, I have. So if I know I can do six take away four, so this number is more than that number, okay, then I can just do, well, all I'm going to do is do the sum six take away four, and my tens won't change. So you can see there, the tens stay the same. And then if I do six take away four, which we could even do in our hands, one, two, three, four, I've got two left, I'd still get the answer 52. And like I said, with your counting backwards, if you're at 56, you could count backwards by four. I always use my fingers when I'm counting backwards to make sure I don't count backwards five or three, so not enough or too many. So I could start at 56 and go 55, 54, 53, 52. And I'll be there, but you have to be confident with that. So let's use what we've just done there to do this in three different ways. Let's do it firstly with our tens and ones. So we're going to make the number 20, 5. So I've got two tens and I've got five ones. And I'm going to take away three. One, two, three. Have a look at that number there, see if you know what the answer is. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to do it with my recognising these numbers, my ones numbers. So I'm going to say, right, is 3 bigger than 5? No, it's not. So I can just say my 2s are going to stay the same. And I'm just going to do the sum 5 take away 3 to get my ones. I've got 5 ones, take away 3. That would leave me with... 2 ones. 22. Let's have a look at that number that I have. 22. Two tens. Two ones. Yes, I did. Or again, we could count backwards. We have 25, 24, 23, 22. 
So our answer for that one would be 22. Now those sums there, okay, use whichever method you find gets you the right answer. And as you get more confident, you might start to use the more efficient, the quicker ways of doing it. But if you need to draw your tens and ones, do it. If you can notice that you just have to take away your ones, do it. If you can count backwards, that's the quicker and most efficient way for those ones, you can do it. So now I'm going to do two sums that are a little bit harder. And I'm going to do 32 take away 6 first. So let's say I'm doing this sum. Now the first thing that's a little bit different is let's draw this number out and let's see. We've got three tens and we've got two ones. Okay. When I look at this one, I've got two ones and I need to take away six. I've got two. I don't have enough ones, I can't do it. So with this sum, I would use our tens and our ones to help us. Okay. Again, if you can count backwards, we'll do that one in a little bit. That'll be good. But until then, this will really help us. So I've got three tens and six ones. I need to take away six ones. So what I'm going to do is I need to remember that these ten sticks... Okay, they are 10 ones together. So I'm going to exchange, I'm going to swap this 10. So I'm going to take that 10 away and add 10 ones instead. So I'm going to swap 10 one, ten, a 10 stick for 10 ones. And I'll do these in a different colour. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Two lines of 5, I've got 10 there. So as you see there, I added 10. I didn't make 10 ones because I already had two. I added 10 to the two I already had, okay? So when you're drawing your tens, make, you might want to do them in a different area to make sure you don't go apparently go, oh, I've got 10 because I already started off with two. So now I've got more than six ones, haven't I? So I can take away six now. Let's take away six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So now I can work out my answer. I can count my tens. One, two. That one I swapped so I don't have it. Okay. So I have two, one, tens. And now I count how many ones I've got left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my number is 26. Now again, if you're confident counting backwards, that would be a quick method for you. So you can start at 32, get six and go 31. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. But you have to be very confident because you're going from your 30s to your 20s. Okay, so use this one maybe to check your answer. Right, well now we've had a little look at how to do it. Let's try one more there where we're going to have to exchange a 10. We have to swap a 10. Let's do 24 and we're going to take away 7. Now I know that I'm going to have to do an exchange because my first little trick where I said have a look at these numbers, 7 is bigger than 4. So I can't take 7 ones away from 4 ones. So I know I'm going to have to exchange. So let's get my number. There's my two tens. Oh, and there's my, nearly forgot my 4 ones. Two tens, 4 ones. Okay. Now I'm going to take away 7. Haven't got seven ones there. Tell me what I'm going to do. That's right. We're going to swap this ten, exchange this ten, and we're going to add ten ones. Well done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten ones on top there. So we've exchanged ten. What we're going to do next? We have enough ones to take away now so we can take them away, can't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we've taken away seven. We can count how many tens and ones we've got and get our answer. Count them. What's our answer? How many tens have we got? How many ones have we got? We've got one ten. So put that in my tens column. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and seven ones. Brilliant. I'm going to tell you a couple of tips now, though, to help you make your mistakes. I've seen some people do this. They get their answer, they do all this hard bit right, and then they go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and put their answer as eight. Okay, they just count them all. Remember, count your tens first, put your tens down, then your ones, put your ones down. Okay, what I've also seen is some people only put enough to get up to ten there rather than add them. Make sure you keep your tens separate. I could do them together here because I had different colour pens. And what I've also seen is some people, some people have the two tens, they do their exchange, but they don't cross out their ten. So then they go, I've got two tens and seven ones. But there's an easy way to realise whether you're being an umpty with this one. Because if I look at my numbers, I've got 24, take away 7 equals 27. Mm. If I'm taking away, that number needs to get smaller. And I know two tens and seven ones is bigger than two tens and four ones, isn't it? So that couldn't be my answer. Okay, so I'm using what I know about maths and takeaways to help me. That's why it's really important to double check your answers. Then you go, oh, I forgot to cross out my ten. It's actually one ten and seven ones. Okay, hope that really helped you with your maths and your subtraction. Use those skills and see what you can do with your subtractions. Till the next video, see you later.